Ready to go get something to eat? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. Today we are squirrel hunting in northern Arizona. Um, our technique is to kind of walk around and if we see a squirrel we run after it and try to get it to like, go up a tree and then we shoot it while it's in the tree. Um, the limit is uh, five squirrels per person and we're hoping to get like six or seven. Uh, so yeah, let's go get something to eat. Do you like eating squirrel? Yeah, I like it. it. I especially like the squirrels like up in Kaibab because I feel like they really taste like chicken, but the ones down here are really good as well. Yeah, that's the way I would describe it, huh? Like a, the dark meat on a chicken. Yep. Well, awesome. Hopefully we get lucky. Yeah. Get him up there. Did you get him treed? You took off like lightning. He's in you this can tree. See right, his body. You see him? He's in this tree, right here. Okay, the close one to us, right? Yep. You see him? You're looking at the wrong tree, I think. The close tree. Yeah. Do you see him? He's kind of on the smaller branches, up in the green, but do you see him? I don't see. Okay. Look, come here. Right here. Oh yeah, I do see. Will that work as a rest? I don't know, it's really high. No, I gotta get further away. Did you rack one in? No. Okay, I'm gonna rack one in, okay? Okay. You feel good about it? Yeah, I'm almost on it. This ain't easy to hold this. No, don't do it. Okay, go ahead. That one felt good. Shoot him again. There he goes. Did he, f oh, I see him. He's hanging on that branch. I think he's getting ready to die. Keep keep watching. Rack a shell in and possibly you'll have to shoot him again just to dislodge him. He's gonna fall. Woo! I heard him. Wow, he's a fat one, huh? Yeah, he's awesome. Hold that dude up and smile. I ran for a while though, huh? Yeah, you, you ran fast, man. You did a good job training. Well, it's hard because, like, you don't want to trip or anything, but you got to keep your eye on him. <laughs> yeah, it's the hardest thing. you got to run as fast as you can, keep an eye on the squirrel, and then for sure know what tree you went up. Get him treed? Where's he at? Okay, he's in this one though? Yeah. Okay. Here's the gun. I'll start looking for him with the binoculars. Okay. You got him in your sights? Yeah. Okay, go ahead.
Okay, we treat a squirrel. He's in this tree right here. Fern over here, she's getting ready to shoot it. He got hit. He's hit. Nope, oh, he's going down. He's coming down. He's better not get stuck. Woo! First awesome shot. shot, dude. Let me see it. Go hold that baby up. Let's see him. Hold that up. All right, that's two down. Let's get some more. Oh, it's lunchtime. Awesome. Let's see there. That should make a good sandwich. Oh. That ain't right. Wait, there's a better way. Better than this? That's setting the bar kind of low. Here, it's the Hunt and Gather with the Chatters cookbook. It's got awesome recipes that are inexpensive, taste delicious, and it's even got tips for field dressing and butchering. Thanks, Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. Find it on Amazon now. Okay, Fern just treat another one and she's getting ready to take the shot. Uh, let me get you on the squirrel. Hit him. I think you got him. He's, he's flirting with the idea of falling down. Good job. Oh, he's a big boy too. Hold that dude up. All right, Fern just tasted another one up. Is he moving? Oh yeah, he's jumping. Keep your eye on him. He's in this one now. Do you see where he finished out? You see the squirrel? Yeah, but he's jumping. Okay. Man, he doesn't want to stay still, does he? I saw him in this one last. Oh, he's in that one behind us. I can see him. Point your finger at that one. That one. Yep. You see him, right? Oh, uh, he just jumped back to the I, I know. Yeah, you keep over there. That way we got two different viewpoints. Okay, so the reason I shot this one was because he was going crazy. He just wouldn't stop in one tree. You can see these trees are all real close together. And he was just jumping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so finally I told Fern, I said, well, I can take a standing shot from anywhere, whereas, you know, it's better for her if she has like a rest. And so I said, if he just stops for a split second, I think I can get him. And so anyways, I shot him, but there he is. Can we hold him up? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Super cool. cool. I decided to make some challah bread to go with our meal tonight. Um, fingers crossed, Aaron and Fern are successful. They went out on a father-daughter hunting trip and they're going after some squirrels. The plan is to roast them over a fire and uh, we'll have those along with this as a side dish. So pretty excited. Okay, Fern here is gonna show us how to uh, skin a squirrel. The easiest thing is to do it while they're fresh, huh? Like right after you shoot them? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? So first you're gonna pitch the back and then you're just gonna make that cut right here. Okay, so you just made about a one or two inch cut? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing now? Now you're gonna just grab the skin. Okay. Do you need help pulling? Yeah. That side is just not coming. Okay, we'll get it. 
We might have to cut Maybe it a we'll little bit. Maybe we'll help it a little. <laughs> okay, you said pull it apart like this? Yeah. Okay, then, then what do you do? You really just want to go around the front leg. Okay, so hold up your front leg there. <laughs> My nose is. Okay, so then you'll remove the other front leg, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what do we do with these rear legs? Um, same exact thing, except you want to find the ball joint. Okay. Okay, and you're kind of trimming that pelvis back there. Yeah. And then you're going to cut in between the ball joint, so it's kind of... So after you've cut the ball joint right there, Okay. you just cut the rest of it and then... Okay, so that's the rear leg. So then we take off the other rear leg as well. Yeah. Okay, so we got our rear legs uh, taken off and our front legs. And now we're gonna take the back straps off. And so here you can see the spine. So we're gonna trim alongside one side of it. And you can see that little back strap, just like on a deer or an elk, it's just uh, smaller, of course. And you wanna make sure your hands, you try to keep them hair free. It'll make your job easier when you're cleaning them. Yeah, these back straps aren't huge, but they are real tasty. So we got our meat from our from one of our squirrels, and there's the other one. But uh, the rest is just garbage. You can keep the tail if you want. Sometimes people think it's cool. Uh, but the rest we're gonna pitch out for the coyotes. Okay, so. We got home and we uh, cleaned our squirrels a little bit better with some fresh water. And you can see all the rear legs, all the front legs, the back straps. Uh, one of my favorite ways to cook squirrels is just out in the woods, uh, kind of in addition to when we're doing a regular hunt, we'll shoot a few squirrels. And then uh, all I do is I sprinkle some of this Franklin County barbecue seasoning on the, on the squirrels and cook them over a wood fire. Uh, but since we're home, I'm going to go ahead and splash them with some soy sauce just to kind of make them wet. And then I'll uh, put my Franklin County barbecue on there. You can find this on uh, the internet. Okay, and then I'll put them on the grill and then I'll flip them after a few minutes and, and put another dose on the other side. Okay, so I put my uh, squirrels on there, and then I seasoned the other side. And you can see I put the the back legs there in the central part of the heat, and then my back straps are over here where it's a little bit cooler because they'll cook really fast. Uh, but I'll just check them every couple minutes and then flip them one time, and uh, that should be good. All right, so I already pulled the back straps off, and I've been grilling for about 15 minutes total now, and. Uh, these are just about all ready to be pulled off. I'll probably pull off the front legs. There's a couple rear legs that I might leave just a little bit longer, uh, but they're basically done. Let's eat. Okay, we got our squirrel platter here, our homemade collard bread, and we got some carrots. And then for my dipping sauce, I've mixed uh, barbecue with a little bit of horseradish. Kind of like a spicy barbecue. And actually, I think the bread is pronounced holla bread. The C is silent. It's a C oh, okay, holla bread. Yeah, C-H-A-L-L-A, holla. Okay, so what do you think, Fern? That's probably a squirrel you shot, because you shot most of them. Yeah, it's really good. Are you eating the back strap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you say it tastes like? Rabbit, okay. I'm gonna try the backstrap too. Yeah, the backstrap's the best. It's like a little boneless nugget. And pretty tender. Yeah, they're good over the open fire, huh? Mm-hmm. Really tasty. Um, I'm interested to get into these ones because you need to get spoiled with those backstraps. But good flavor, huh? And I use the horseradish and Excellent job cooking them. 
Okay, and I'm gonna take a big old bite out of a rear leg here. Yeah, I mean, it's chicken dark meat is what it is. Yeah. I love it. And that's my favorite way is uh, over the open fire, you know, especially like a wood fire. Yeah. Thanks for watching Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. We'll see you next time when we go get something to eat. And subscribe. It really helps us out.